I'm citizen journalist Deepika Manchanda. Four years back, my sister Neetika lost her life by medical negligence by Max Hospital Pitampura. Since then, I've been fighting for justice using CJ platform. After all these years, my efforts to get justice for my sister have been paid off. On 3rd May 2009, my sister Nitika got admitted to Max Hospital Pitampura for delivery. But 48 hours after delivering a healthy baby boy, she passed away. It was about 10 p.m. on 4th May when Nitika complained of abdominal pain and backache. It was assumed a normal post-operative pain and was advised a painkiller. At around 11 p.m., when she had no relief, the doctor advised some more painkillers and sedatives. Further at 2 a.m. on 5th May, severe pain was complained of again. She was shivering, she was vomiting. Doctor yet again advised some injections without bothering to know the pathology behind the symptoms. At 6.30 a.m., the patient's condition further deteriorated. At around 7.30, the patient's blood pressure was recorded as 80-40. According to the death summary submitted by consulting gynecologist Dr. Alka Gupta, Nitika had complained of backache on the morning of 5th May. As a matter of fact, Nitika had been complaining of abdominal pain and backache since 10 p.m. on May 4th. The nurse's notes clearly unveil this false claim of the hospital. Although the post-mortem report did not reveal anything concrete about the cause of her death, but I refused to give in. I then joined hands with CJ team and exposed how Max Pitampura was not built for dealing with emergencies. It just had two elevators with a minimum waiting time of at least five to six minutes because of which it had taken them 45 minutes to shift my sister to intensive care unit which were very very crucial for her life. Not only this, along with the CJ team, I also questioned hospital authorities. It's regarding the death of my sister Nitika Manchanda which happened here on 5th of May. If you would Since then, I've been fighting a legal battle to bring guilty to book. After many sleepless nights, multiple RTI applications and several, several visits to Delhi Medical Council and Medical Council of India, I finally had success. Medical Council of India has ruled in our favour and found Max Pitampura guilty. The order states that the attending doctor's name to be struck off from Indian Medical Register and from Register of State Medical Council for a period of three years. Not only this, it has also ordered the state government authorities to take necessary action on the said hospital management for not having adequate infrastructure facilities necessary for appropriate care during post-operative period. I hope this punishment acts as deterrent for all the negligent hospitals and practicing doctors in India. The fight has not been an easy one. None of these efforts would bring back a life. But I'm sure I'm able to save a few lives. I believed in it, I did it, and I'm sure you can. This is citizen journalist Deepika Manchanda for CNN IBN.